Jack and his mother were very poor. They lived alone in a little cottage. The only thing they owned was a cow named Milky White. Can't you make yourself useful? Jack's mother asked. But there's nothing to do. Jack complained. Jack's mother stopped sweeping and sat down. We have nothing. Nothing to eat. Nothing to drink. Nothing to sell. Nothing. Except Milky White. Jack pointed out. There was a long pause, followed by a low tummy grumble. All right, tomorrow we must take Milky White to market. Get the best price you can. At the first sign of dawn, Jack ran outside. Morning, Milky White. We are going to the market. Jack said. They hadn't gone far when they met an old man. Whoa! What a fine cow! Where are you taking her? To the market. Then go no further. I'll buy her. The old man reached deep into pocket and take out five drained beans. Beans? It's the magic beans. Plant them today, and you'll see a bean stalk reaching to the clouds by morning. Wow! That's amazing. And you will give them to me for old Milky White. Yes, that's right. It's deal. Jack cried. He grabbed the beans, hand over Milky White, thanked the man, and ran off. You're back early. How much did you get from Milky White? Jack didn't dare answer. Instead, he opened his fist and showed her the beans. His mother was furious. She threw the beans to the ground and sent Jack to his room. Thanks to you, there's no lunch or supper. Jack hid under his blanket, feeling foolish. Finally, night came and he fell asleep. When he woke up, his room was still dark, but he could hear birds chattering. Jack thought that is strange, and went to the window. A thick curtain of leaf blocked out the sun. He looked closer and saw a massive plant reaching up to the sky. He reached downstairs and bumped into his mother. "What have you done to my garden?" Jack rushed past her. He wanted to climb his beanstalk. Soon, Jack's house was nothing but a dot, and he was feeling rather dizzy. He climbed a little higher and almost fell off the beanstalk in surprise. The floating in the distance was an enormous cluster. A delicious smell of sizzling sausage drifted through the air. Breakfast, thought Jack hungry. He was cumbering. Jack marched up to the castle. Suddenly, the castle door began open. Jack hid behind a flower pot. A giant woman appeared, carrying a giant watering can. Then she dropped off water splash on Jack's head, and dressed him. Help! Oh, sorry, dearie, I didn't see you. Come inside to dry off. In no time, Jack was sitting on the kitchen table. Then he heard a thunderous roar. Oh no! That's my husband. If he see you, dearie, you'll be breakfast. The giant woman cried. She hid Jack in an empty teapot. Heavy footsteps shook the room. I smell the blood of a little man. A giant giant was stomping around the kitchen, sniffed the air greedily. I'm sure you will, dear, but eat your breakfast first. Two giants were talking. Then the giant soon forgot Jack's smell. He guzzled down every mouthful, then licked his plate clean. Bring me my hen. He ordered his wife. She placed a little hen on his hand. Jack watched as it clucked, flapped its feather, and laid a shiny golden egg. The giant looked very pleased with the golden egg. Then he yawned. He raised his chin on the table and nodded off. When the giant fell asleep, Jack thought that is the time to escape. 
He grabbed the hen, slid down the tablecloth, and raced through a crack under the door. The beanstalk. Jack flung himself at it, and scrambled down to safety. When Jack's mother saw the hen, she licked her lips. Hmm, chicken for dinner. No way. This hen lays golden eggs. She'll make us rich. Of all the silly story. Just then, the hen clucked and laid a golden egg. A golden egg brought Jack and his mother all they need. One morning, Jack was laying in the shade of the beanstalk. He looked at the beanstalk towering above. He looked at the giant's magic hen. Then he thought that maybe the giant has other treasure. He think it's other time for another adventure. Jack climbed the beanstalk. He followed the smell of sausage to the castle kitchen, and kept under the door. He saw the giant's wife was whistling by the stove. Please, Mrs. Giant, do you have a half of sausage to spare? Go away! The last boy stole my husband's hen. Gerard is still in terrible temper. If he finds you here, he'll gobble you up. Oh, I'm I'm sorry to bother you. Wait, I'm sure I can find you something. Jack drove into a sugar when a giant voice echoed the room. I smell the blood of a little man. You're imagining things, darling. I'll fetch you a harp that will climb you. His wife replied. Then she placed a tiny golden harp on the table. It played soft, soothing tune, all on its own. The giant sat down, closed his eyes, and began to snore. Quick, go! The giant wife whispered to the sausage bowl. Jack leaped out. He struck into harp under his arm and fled. The music stopped, and giant woke up. My harp! The giant cried. Second later, he was pulling after Jack. I'll grind your bones, you little thief! As Jack hurried down the beanstalk, it began to sway. The giant was tumbling down too. Flush that saw! Jack yelled to his mother. Then he jumping to the ground. Jack grabbed the saw. He pulled it back and fell across the thick beanstalk. Suddenly, there was a massive crack. The whole beanstalk toppled to the ground, flinging the giant over the distant hills. No one ever saw him again. With a hen that laid golden egg and a beautiful singing harp, Jack and his mother lived very happily.